There was a funeral service today in Minneapolis for Dante Wright, the 20-year-old black man killed by a white police officer during a traffic stop. The young man's parents breaking down in tears, remembering their son. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez here now with more for us. Hazel. Yeah, Maurice and Christine, another emotional day for the Minneapolis metro area. Just two days after Derek Chauvin was found guilty of George Floyd's murder, Dante Wright, shot and killed by a police officer, was memorialized. His family praying he did not die in vain. Dante Wright, life matters. Dante Wright, life matters. There were cries for justice for Dante Wright as his parents struggled through their grief to share memories of their beloved son, a young man who loved to make people laugh. My son had a smile that was worth a million dollars. When he walked in the room, he lit up the room. Words can't even explain how I feel right now. You know, th that was my son. His casket covered in red roses sat before a capacity crowd inside Shiloh Temple International in Minneapolis as an artist painted his image. On April 11th, the 20-year-old father of a one-year-old boy who shares his name was gunned down by former police officer Kim Potter. She resigned and now stands charged with manslaughter. Wright's siblings say they were robbed of a bright light in their lives. He didn't deserve this. He was so loved by everybody. Among the mourners were the families of others killed at the hands of police, including the relatives of George Floyd, who, like many in Minneapolis, are dealing with a roller coaster of emotions with the conviction of Derek Chauvin just two days ago. Senator Amy Klobuchar and Governor Tim Walz were among hundreds who attended the service, leaders fighting for change in the passing of the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, the bill banning police chokeholds, and changing the rules for police immunity. We're going to pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act as federal law. We are going to make it against the law all over this country to keep bringing us to funerals for our young princes. It's time for the federal government to reflect the will of the people. We have to change the status quo so that driving while black doesn't result in getting shot. We won't rest until justice, true justice, is done. To mark the start of Wright's funeral today, Governor Tim Walz issued a proclamation calling for two minutes of silence at noon in his honor. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Hazel, thank you.